All right, this is part two of another DoorDash lawsuit. It starts February of 2019. Um, I'm not a lawyer. I don't give legal advice. Um, this is merely I'm stating my thoughts and my opinions about it. And um, uh, to educate you a little bit on lawsuits I've been through and my knowledge of how to file a lawsuit like this, uh, and what the lawyers will offer, and how you do in the end. Um, first of all, uh, if, I hope you watched part one of this subject matter until uh, you got to this. If not, you need to go back and watch part one and come back and watch part two. Okay, so uh, what I was discussing in the last vlog was about uh, how these class action lawsuits are done. They're very similar to a lawsuit if you've ever been in a car wreck or you've been injured somewhere and uh, it's kind of half that and then it's also half labor law uh, minimum wage fighting lawyers. Um, uh, what they do is they claim you're injured because you know, you, you're not getting your fair wages. And then um, they try to see breaches in contract and loopholes so that they can get in there and, and try to get some money. Um, the only thing is that, you know, when you go to them, they're like, they want to sign you up in a heartbeat. And a lot of them are just online lawyers. Like, you never see them. Um, I know of one particular for a company that I work for that uh, um, a big corporate across the United States um, where a uh, employee was suing for $5,000 pay uh, claiming overtime this that and the other and um, he signed up with this online law firm in Memphis and um, uh, to sue a Florida corporation in the, uh, for his five grand and the lawsuit was in the hundreds of thousands of dollars which most all that went to the lawyers and they got fame for that um but it lasted you know a long time it was it was you know almost two years um so this is usually how it works they take and um here's somebody with a really bad exhaust it sounds like the exhaust is off of the manifold or the car is running off time and it's getting ready to die but anyway, um, so what they do is they say, okay, look, you don't have to pay anything to file. We, and let me have your name and information. And what kind of paperwork and documentation do you have for us? And all that kind of thing. And um, so I hope you kept really good records if you get involved in something like this. Um, because you're just wasting your breath if you haven't otherwise. Because you got to have some kind of proof. Um, of lost wages. Uh, you can't just guess. Um, now, uh, which is kind of hard to do because DoorDash doesn't give us all the exact information when a customer orders and how much they tip and what they're paying and all their fees. We just see this thing and it doesn't really explain itself. And then the DoorDash website doesn't explain it at all. It has like four different descriptions and then their comments and uh, interviews and stuff like that on the internet and television um, don't even match what's on the website. So it's like there's like several different definitions of how your pay is at DoorDash. Although DoorDash does pay higher than any of the other delivery services. Um, I will say that Instacart's big uh, class action lawsuit, um, there was some direction given to uh, DoorDash where they tried to twice to talk to the CEOs or representatives of DoorDash and the first lady refused to comment. The second time she actually did comment on another occasion where she said, our drivers totally understand the contract so we don't foresee raising any pay or changing any pay in the future. Um, okay. So that's where they're at. It's like they're not worried about it, you know. Um, I was hoping that, that Instacart lawsuit would kind of shake up a few folks 
but I mean people can do this all day long so um, it's very easy to do and it, it can be reoccurring and and all that but what the deal is that lawyers want to sign up just as many people as they can to do a so-called class action it means class action it means a lot of people right now the lawsuit um, is uh, with two people um, just two drivers have signed on okay so uh, and uh, it's based out of Atlanta Georgia as a class action lawsuit and um, it's DoorDash stealing tips and a small claimer of you know it's against contract policy contractual policy with DoorDash um, but only two drivers have signed on so far and the first filing has been done um, on the 8th of February but that doesn't mean crap okay that just means they've started the rolling motion and DoorDash can buy out at any time and some companies will do that um, uh, you know they'll make a deal outside of court or whatever there's only two people on there so far but unless you're one of those two people you're not included so um, that's the first fact uh, so please realize that if you don't understand a class action lawsuit you need to understand it um, because you have to sign up for that um, don't just sit there and, and watch it happen and then when it's all over which can take a year or longer uh, you know if, if you're gonna be waiting around for that money good luck to you but like I say a lot of it's for fame of the lawyer and the lawyers take most of the money basically about three quarters on average and um, because they have to pay for all these filing fees these the court appearances and, and and moving it to Supreme Court and all this other junk um, without you having to be present they just have a bunch of names on a roster and they file this class action um, on occasion they'll bring people in to uh, you know go to the court hearings and stuff but it's rare it's usually just done by the lawyers and all that stuff and the judge and everything and they just drag it out drag it out so um, it costs money to file and lawyers time is anywhere from a hundred dollars a half hour and up depending on the state and all that kind of stuff and the lawyer and what he wants to charge and how many lawyers are involved because all those got to be paid to just like a car accident uh, lawsuit where they go oh we'll take it for free well not necessarily because it's a third a third and a third that means at the end of whatever is made in the case say it's three hundred thousand well a hundred thousand goes to the lawyer a hundred thousand goes to the doctor and a hundred thousand will go to you that's how it is done okay and so um you know unless you have the money to pay a lawyer then you can sue it a little bit differently but if you jump into a, a class action lawsuit that's just a whole lot of people and the more people they get the bigger the lawsuit is the more money the lawyer makes it doesn't mean the more money the people make that are filing because the Instacart one is like in the hundreds to where, you know, each driver is probably going to get, you know, a couple hundred or so. Uh, they, they aren't going to get millions and thousands and stuff like that. Don't even begin to believe that. Um, it's all divided up amongst how many people have filed. Um, uh, and how much proof they've got, you know. How long they've worked for the company. What's due to them. You know, um, uh, this is strictly a tip filing case. Um, it's not counting for all those hours where DoorDash claims you get $10 an hour. Now, I've worked Biloxi and done 12 hours in a day and had zero orders when we first opened Biloxi. I've worked Biloxi and I've worked uh, uh, eight hours and done one order, you know. And um, it, it was like 13 miles and like, you know, 10 bucks. Um, and Biloxi, they don't cash tip either. That's kind of icky. But um, anyway, that's how it is. So uh, if you sit down and just watch the case go by and you haven't signed on, 
to be in the class action lawsuit, don't be looking for any money because it's not coming. Not unless they get the IRS and the government in to audit everything and DoorDash and they start deciding that, that DoorDash owes a bunch of money to people because they stole it or something. That's a different thing and that's a big, big, huge wave of work, um, which kind of doesn't usually happen. Um, but, I, I mean, a lawsuit like this does wake up a lot of folks up and makes other companies nervous to do this kind of service. Where they claim that drivers are independents. And, you know, I mean, you know, there's a lot of tax write-offs when you detail out for these delivery systems on your own, um, which can make it very worth it if you do the full detailing out on your taxes, take it to CPA and get it done and find out every year updates and all that, and it's wonderful, great. Um, but tips are also called income. And DoorDash, if you look at the pay scale on your own app of how you're being paid by the week it's like you know you've got 15 deliveries you got $15 pay and then you got like $250 in tips they'll say which you know that's oddball miss so you're getting like a dollar an order um but anyway uh if you're interested in getting into the lawsuit um, the only way to do it is to sign on with it. But like I'm telling you, it can take a year or longer. The Instacart one, I think, went two or three years before it finally settled out just recently. Um, but again, those people are going to get like $200 each. And it doesn't, that Instacart is not including all the employees that have ever worked, been fired, whatever, are still working for Instacart. Um... Unless Instacart volunteers to pay all that money back, it's only the people that have signed on to that case. Okay? So, if you don't believe me, call the lawyers that handled that. Um, I do have a blog on that, and the information is in there if you want to talk to them and see if you're going to get anything out of that. But usually it's not unless you've signed on. Um, uh, the... Lawyers that are handling this particular case has just been filed recently are Henninger, Garrison, and Davis. And they are a so-called class action group, which makes me lead to believe it's something that's online that you hire attorneys to fight for your wages. And here's their phone number. It's one 800 241 nine seven seven nine and uh tell them you're interested in the class action doordash class action lawsuit against doordash incorporated and they'll tell you the way what you need to do to go from there so um like i say that's just all it is right now there is nothing going on there's nothing going to be settled soon um, unless DoorDash, you know, backs down and says, just give those two people that have filed this much money. And we'll just call it a day and they have to pay the lawyers off and everything. But after a certain point, as the case progresses and more time has lapsed, um, then the, the opposing company, which would be DoorDash versus the lawyers and their clients, um... They're not going to buy out the case. It has to go through the courts after it's so long through the system. Um, uh, a company that I have worked for that's across the United States, we had uh, uh, one employee sue in Memphis, and um, he got one of those online lawyers like this to do a class action, but all they got was just that one guy that signed on to it. it they couldn't get anybody else. And um, uh, all he got was five grand. That's all he fought for was five grand. That's all I got was five grand. But um, uh, my company that I work for, the owner had to pay not only his own lawyers, and it was drug out for over a year, uh, and went to court several times. He had to pay the opposing lawyers two hundred thousand dollars yeah 
yeah, two hundred thousand dollars, and um, uh, that doesn't include the five thousand to the guy that was in the lawsuit originally. Um, so it gets very pricey. The lawyers make the money. The lawyers make the fame. Yeah, it helps to get a little bit of word out and, and scare some other folks that are in that type of business to straighten up and be a little more honest. Um, we understand that, yes, it costs money to have a server and, you know, computer systems analysts to build these websites that do so much magic from sending automatic orders to receiving the customer's orders and listing restaurants and stores and products. Yeah, we understand that. We understand that there has to be you know, onboard techs that are available for lots of people across the United States that are working to try to talk to, you know, these these drivers and solve problems and situations. We understand that servers do go down. They can go down for a minute. They can go down for hours. Um, and it, it's just, uh, we understand everybody's got to be paid. Yeah. Um, but, I mean... Don't lie. Don't lie to us and say, well, you know, we're going to pool the tips and to try to get everybody's orders up all about the same price. And so if my customer tips me 20 or $50 on a large order and I'm delivering for $9.76, um, uh, that bites because I should have received that money or a majority of it. Don't tell me I'm making 100% of my tips when I'm not. Um, so there's that info. I gave you the phone number. So if you want to inquire and sign on to that class action lawsuit, that's just how you're going to do it. So if that helps you, great. Um, but it's going to take some time and don't expect to get millions of dollars because I really doubt that you will. Um, you know, yeah, I worked for DoorDash a long time. Uh, and you know, I just don't foresee millions coming my way. Um, I, I will be excited about the lawsuit because I will hope that, you know, DoorDash will start, you know, changing their pay systems and be a little bit more honest because there's just too much conflict on the website where they have, you know, like five different descriptions of how you're getting paid. Although DoorDash pays higher than any of these jokers, they really, really do, um, especially in the areas I've worked. Right, all the orders are generally ten dollars to almost twenty, and um, very rare or very small bonus peak pays. The largest peak pay I've seen across the states with DoorDash is is, is Birmingham, Alabama, where I've seen them as high as eight dollars. But uh, bonus peak pays are also for another reason, um, and I'll get into that in another vlog, which I have a couple on that already on YouTube. So first of all. Um, if you're digging this vlog and, and learned a little bit out of it, understand a little bit more, um, you know, throw me a thumbs up. And, uh, if you want some more secret tips and information, uh, then you need to subscribe to my channel, which is free. Um, so go ahead and subscribe because I have over 600 vlogs on YouTube and a majority of them are for delivery um, and some independent contracting and things like that. Uh, again, I'm not a liar. Uh, I'm not out here to give you legal advice. Um, uh, I do have five college degrees and I should have been a lawyer. I'm very knowledgeable about things like laws and how things operate. And I, I've had my own experience in some lawsuits um, from me against other people. Um, so, um, you know, every state operates differently. Um, you never know what kind of day the judge has, uh, bottom line, because if you catch a judge on a bad day, he might just throw the whole case. So that's just the way it goes. But anyway, um, I hope you have a really great day. Thanks so much for watching and joining me here. And I hope to hear from you soon. So... You have a really wonderful evening. Love to you. And as always, make a new friend. Do something kind for a stranger. And keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for those stars. Have a great day.